think the biggest lies I told myself was like, when I get everything, that's when I'ma start. But you ain't gonna never have everything. Like it's still stuff I ain't got right now. You know what I'm saying? I've been in business going on three weeks. It's still stuff I ain't got. I'm running to the store to go grab, but I gotta do it the other way. Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Mental Wealth. This podcast is used to express thoughts, experiences, and lessons. I aim to be as transparent as possible. If you enjoy an episode, please don't forget to like, comment, and tell a friend. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, I plan to interview one of my former roommates, one of my dogs, an up and coming entre- college graduate, my boy Ty. Good, my dog. Appreciate you having me, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what you got going on, man? Man, I got a few things cooking up, man. I just started my own little mobile detailing down in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, currently enrolled back in school going for an electrician. Um, get a little trade going, you know. So tell me about your journey, man. What made you want to be an electrician? What made you want to get back in school after you already graduated? Well, for one, bro, when I first went to school, I honestly didn't take it serious, you feel me? Like, so I got like a, a, a general business degree. So, like, that ain't really something like a career. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might be qualified to be a manager or something, but that ain't really nothing I'm too fond of. So, I started to, like, dibble and dabble into the real estate. So, that kind of made me, like, get into the electrician so I could find my way into the real estate game. So, I've been going to school doing um, industrial electrician, and we learning how to, like, wire houses and stuff like that. So... In the future, I plan on using that so I could become an uh, electrical contractor. So out of everything, you could have went back to go to school for. That's just it just cleared up. Yeah. So out of everything you could have went back to school for, what made you choose to be out of? What made you choose to be an electrician? Um, I was looking into like the skill program at the school, and it was like, oh, I'm an electrician, welding, and all that. And like, like how I said, the electrician part, it kind of stuck with me a little more cause like, I'm like, okay. Like, cause I've been riding with one of my um, friends from school. He actually um, invested in the real estate properties, fix and flip and stuff. So like, I see like, he might have to hire an electrician and stuff like that. So I'm thinking like, shoot, if I could, if I could get in the game like that, you know, go to school for a year, um, get, get um, certified in electrician in electrical work, get certified in electrical work, that'd be a way to like get in the door, you know, cause being an electrical contractor, so that's still like in the real estate game, you know, and for the future, when I do invest in my own real estate properties and stuff, I'll be able to cut costs cause I know how to wire my own houses and I'll be able to do my own jobs. So not only will that help me with that, but then when I ain't got my own houses that I'm doing, doing fits and flips on, or building from the ground up, I might have somebody that call me and like, well, I need you to come out while my house, I can see my team out there. You know, like pass, another form of passive income. Overall, that's why I did it. You know, always thinking about another hustle. So in the future, I feel like that's something like where I can actually hire a squad, you know, send people out to the house and I kind of be hands off. But of course, at first you got to put in the dirty work, you know, get your hands dirty, so hey. I said, why not? Let's do it. Really good, man. What, in the landscape of entrepreneurship, what does it mean to you? How did you get in? Entrepreneurship, to me, would be like controlling my own time. You know what I'm saying? Investing in myself to where my time is my time and not somebody else's. And that's, that's like the overall goal of like entrepreneurship, you know? Like, you run a business because, like, this is yours, so you put your heart into it. But at the same time, you reap the rewards of, like, that people don't get, like, that work regular jobs, you know what I'm saying? They don't get, like, free time, actual free time. Like, people, like, they go to work, clock in, clock out. You know what I'm saying? They get a weekend off. But when you're an entrepreneur, every day off, because, like, that's something I love, so I don't look at it as no job. It's just something I invested in that's giving me a return, like, on my investment. So... Like, whether it is, I don't dibble and dabble between stocks, 
You know what I'm saying? You started me out with the stocks when we used to stay together. You feel me? At first, bro was like, man, you need to you need to look into this stock. I'm like, bro, I ain't worried about no stocks, bro. I'm trying to get some money. You feel me? And I'm like, bro. Like, but then, like, you really kicked in. Like, I was really ignorant to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You was trying to teach me a passive income. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, me getting into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of tapped into my entrepreneurship mindset. You know, so, bro, we, we used to watch. You know it, bro. We in the crib. We watching Airbnb videos. We watching, like, you Turo. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, like, bro, we just been trying to find a way, bro. We and they, like, bro, I got notes in my phone, like, from 2021. <laughs> like, me writing down notes. Like, I'm going to have my own car wash. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to I'm I'm do this. I'm going to get into real estate. And, bro, it's like, it's crazy because it's 2024. And it's like, I just started my own mobile detailing business. I'm in school for electrician. They get me into the real estate game. I done took a real estate mentorship. You know what I'm saying? So like getting to learn how to wholesale, you know what I'm saying? You, you rather if you wholesaling, you could get it on the wholesale, and you and you cutting out the own realtor. So even if you getting it the whole to fix it up yourself and flip it, you still cutting out the realtor. You know what I'm saying? So like to me, it's been all about like being able to make my own avenue to not have to work a job that I'm going to regret working for 20 years when I'm 40. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I hate my job. But in reality, like, I, was, I ain't chased my dreams. So I'm like, bro, I'm all in with it. Like, I ain't scared to fail. Like, I failed a lot. Like, I tried before I started with my mobile detailing last summer, bro, I was written out U-Hauls and, and uh -huh. pressure washing people's houses. You know what I'm saying? Me and my cousin, I go pick one of my cousins up. We on ladders, scr scrubbing people's houses, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, people would think, like, they look at it and be like, oh, like, I'm pretty sure he had it all figured out. But, like, I ain't never really had it all figured out. And one of the biggest lies I told myself was, like, when I get everything, that's when I'm going to start. But you ain't going to never have everything. Like, it's still stuff I ain't got right now. You know what I'm saying? I've been in business going on three weeks. It's still stuff I ain't got. I'm running to the store to go grab. Well, I got to do it the other way. You feel me? Like, to till I can go to the store right quick. But it's like, it's a learning experience. So it's like, you're going to learn through that. And that's the best way. Like, I seen a little Nipsey quote. It was like, he said, like, um, experience is the best teacher in life. So it's like, you can't go off what other people say. You you could buy all the mentorships you want. You could buy all the ebooks you want. But you got to actually get in the field and do it. Cause if you don't, bro, you ain't gonna never know for real. And I ain't talking like, oh, well, I got it all figured out now, cause I ain't got it all figured out at all. Like you feel me? Like I'm still searching, I'm still searching, and I know it's a long way to go, but I see progress. You know what I'm saying? So long as I'm seeing progress, then it's cool. Like, cause I know like everything else come after that, and I and I know I'm gonna be able to look at this video a year or two later and be like, damn, like. I'm even bigger now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just good that we getting it on record. So it's almost like the Kanye documentary. Right. But how's your first three weeks of business been? Bro, it been above my expectation, bro. Like, before, like, you know, shoot, like, before I'm talking, I'm like, shoot, bro, if I can make 100, 200, I put it just starting off, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Man, my first car I did, I made 120, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just on the car that wasn't even that dirty, but it's like, shoot, business been booming. Like, I already got a Saturday schedule pretty much booked up, like, you know what I'm saying? For this week coming, and it's only my third weekend open. But, like, that's why I said, bro, like, you ain't gonna never have it all figured out before you start. So it's just like, just start, because half the time you gonna, that, that shit gonna, exceed your expectation like i'm thinking they're gonna start here but really it's starting there there like you know what i'm saying so i just know it's just gonna get bigger as long as i keep promoting staying staying consistent yeah as long as i keep promoting and staying consistent i'm gonna run that back so it don't look like i'm starting <laughs> but like yeah that's all it's about man you know especially being consistent like small wins better than like anything so like whether it's like I put on a little checklist for the day, like these are the supplies I need to go get, or I want to, you know, 
had this done by by this date. So I write it down, you know what I'm saying? I feel like when I write stuff down, I'm kind of going on top. The only part I don't like about this interview so far is that I just started and I jumped right in. I didn't get to who you are. So who is Ty? What was your childhood like? Ty, I ain't gonna make it seem like I had no life. Ty, you know, so my childhood, my child, you know, I had a good childhood. You know, I grew up in a single parent household. My mama had me when she was 16. Um, my daddy wasn't no deadbeat or nothing, but it was just more so of the distance. With him staying in Kentucky, I was born in Kentucky. We moved from Kentucky when I was young, and then we moved to South Carolina. So, like, being 10 hours apart, I could see, now that I'm older, how that kind of affect the relationship between a, um, a son and a, and a father. But, like, my granddaddy played a good father figure in my life, kept me in the sports, took me to practice, AAU tournaments, he was my coach. So it was like, I always had my daddy there. I look at my granddaddy kind of like my daddy. Like, um, bro, like, like I said, bro, I had a good childhood. As long as I kept my grades up, you know what I'm saying? I got rewarded for it. You get the clothes and shoes, but you act up in school, your grades ain't right. You ain't getting nothing. So like, so that what really kept me grounded, like, I started to clown off with, you know, some clowns like, you know, people that ain't got nothing going on with themselves right now, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to be the class clowns and stuff like that, and now they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I had somebody on me like that. To be like, bro, like, you ain't about to be playing these sports. I ain't gonna sign you up for no sports. You ain't about to rock the best shoes and clothes. If you can't go to school, respect your teacher and get good grades. So it was like I respect that. None of that I'm old at first. I used to think it was like, oh, they trying to be strict. But sometimes you got to be strict, bro. But um, play sports all throughout middle school, high school. Um, went to Newberry College, played a semester of football there. It ain't work out. That's when I gave up the football dream, you feel me? Like, because at first I'm thinking like, man, like, I'm going to be playing on Sundays, you know, like that area, that, I feel like that area black boy dream, like, man, like, you know, make it to the league, bro, like, that, that was my goal, bro, like, I'm going to the league, like, I, I'm put on for my family, but like, but like, I feel like after the, I quit with the football, I transferred to Coastal, that way I met you at, and like, that's where I kind of like started finding myself, for real. Like, outside of sports. So, like, it, it kind of forced me to, like, find different habits. You know what I'm saying? And at first, I found the wrong habits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, you know, that, I started finding the wrong habits, drinking a lot, partying a lot. You know? Did that by all the college. But I got my grades. Like, you feel me? Like, COVID hit. I slipped up. You know, I kind of, yeah. like, really dropped out from the coaster. But I was like, man, I got to finish. Like, because ain't no... Like, I was the first dude in my um, family on my mama's side, like, to graduate from college. Like, you feel me? So, I dropped out of Coastal, but I was like, I'm going to finish at Horry Tech. Got, a, like, a little general business degree, like I said. Been really nothing. And then, you know, after I graduated, I moved to Charlotte. I realized, like, you know, that probably wasn't the, the best move for me. You feel me? Like, man, that. That wasn't nothing but a party. <laughs> but then you know, I, I, then I, then you know, I came back to South Carolina and established myself. But like that's when I really started finding myself, like what I want to do. Now that I'm getting older, like you know, I'm into the, you know real estate. That's like one of my biggest goals. You know, to own real estate property, and that's that's really how you build financial wealth. Like, but like right now. Investing into my mobile detailing business. I'm back in school in the electrical program. Like, and now it's all about hustling the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could do it. Like, you could really turn, you know, nothing into something as long as you strive for it. So I say, I say, when you say who is Ty, you know, I say I'm an ambitious. I'm an ambitious person. You know, um, stuff that seems like a dream or, or it won't happen to other people. To me, I just be like, bro, it ain't nothing but a challenge, you feel me? Cause like, bro, I done been through a lot. And like, no matter what, like, cause I feel like life a boxing match, bro. So I feel like, bro, you might get knocked on your ass a couple times, but like, life gonna knock you on your ass a couple times, but I always get back up, bro. Like, I always get back up. I don't stop, bro. I just be like, bump it, like, 
Yeah, all right. Like what's next? It's like you know what I'm saying. Like I know it. I know it better now. Like you know, I know better to come. So I done went through the storm. Like and, and then when you look back on it, so the storm be the best. Be the best. Like time, cause that when you really learn yourself. Mm. That 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 when you learn how strong you really is. Like can you weather a storm? You know what I'm saying? When you got a lot on your back, you got a lot of responsibility. A lot of people they freak out, right? and you feel me? They can't handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. Like. The pressure, the pressure that, that done, like, it feel like I'm back playing football. Like, shoot, in the fourth quarter, what you gonna do? Barbecue a meal, dude, for real. That's how I feel, like, ambitious. I feel like, like, nobody can't stop me, bro. That's how I feel, bro. Nobody or, or nothing don't stop me. What advice do you have for up and coming entrepreneurs, students, any, the young black man? What advice do you have for them? Advice I have? For somebody like me, my color, you know, you might feel lost sometimes, but you gotta, you gotta know yourself, know your worth, no sell out for, you know, like a prize, like you know what I'm saying, like you 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 might, you might quit on your goal just for a little satisfaction, you know what I'm saying, like. So small satisfaction and not long term satisfaction. So stay down, grind, it gonna get hard. You gonna take some losses, take it to the chin, heal it up, and keep going and don't be scared to like expand your horizon. Don't stay ignorant to your circumstances. You know, I could have easily, man, my mama was on section eight, like you know what I'm saying? Like all that, like I could have used that as excuses. My mama single parent, like but like, bro, like, this is how I'm gonna get it. This is how I'm gonna live. Like, but it's like, bro, like, this how they taught me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this is what I was handed. But it's like, as you get older, you start to be the ignorant one. If you don't understand, like, it's another way. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I say, I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like, man, like, it's another way. Like, it's always a light at the end of the tunnel, I feel like. As long as you weather the storm and stick through the storm, make it through the rain, you gonna see the sunshine. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about this shit, man. Hmm. Is there anything you want to shout out or anything you want to mention before? Shout out to all my... Shout out to everybody. Shout out to all my homies, you know, that hold me accountable and that, and that um, make me strive to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like like they say, if you hang around seven dumb, you know what? You're going to be the eight dumb one. So, man, I just try to surround myself by like-minded people, people who got more than me or on the same, you know, path as me. We trying to get there. We gonna, and we ain't going to stop till we get there. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my positive people out there, you know, pushing positivity, you know, and getting rid of all the negative, you know, cause, cause that's a fight too, within yourself that you gotta take, you know, but getting those negative people out your, out your ear. That, that's, the, that's, the, that's the main goal. <laughs> this nigga laughing, you're trying to be serious. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bro, this shit crazy. All my people pushing pot. Nah. <laughs> nah, for real though. Shout out to the, you know, all my homeboys in my life. You know what I'm saying? That positive. You know what I'm saying? We pushing positivity. Um, everybody pushing each other to try to be better. They're basically getting negative people out, out the circle. So shout out to all my positive people in my circle, man. Like, for real. Shout out to my family. You know. <laughs> Give us the, the business, the uh, handling oh, yeah, and stuff, yeah. man. Oh, so hold on, hold on. Yeah, look. All right, first. Should I say, shout out? And then, should I shout out my business? Yeah, like, you get, get a phone, your business, so right. can. Shout out to my business, man. Common word detailing, you know. We really turned this into a legit LSC, man. You know, a little. 
It was a little high school group back in the day, man. Real business, man. You know, follow me on Instagram at Common World Detailing. And then you could follow my personal page on Instagram at Comma underscore Ty. And you know, hey, we only gonna go up from here, man. It's only, it's only up from here. It about wraps up the interview. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to be back with you for another one. Peace.